Today, we completed a big step of the uh, EPFL uh, Smart Grid Campus project. Uh, since we just installed uh, uh, one of the biggest elements uh, of the project, uh, which is a lithium titanate uh, battery storage system. Researchers at EPFL's Distributed Electrical Systems Laboratory have deployed a pilot system for energy storage in smart grids. They were funded by the framework program of the Canton of Vaud entitled 100 millions pour les énergies renouvelables et l'efficacité énergétique. The main peculiarity of this battery is that uh, contrary to the battery that we have in our mobile phones or uh, laptops or, or even batteries that you have in your uh, electrical vehicles, if you have one, is that uh, it is based on the lithium titanate technology, uh, which is characterized by a very long life. You can charge and discharge the battery in 15 minutes for 15,000 times without observing a remarkable degradation of the battery performances, whilst the batteries of our iPhones or um, mobile phones, uh, laptops or, or even the ones of the EVs can experience uh, larger degradations uh, as you may know. So this is the largest peculiarity of this battery. Their aim is to study new solutions that are able to store at the industrial scale energy produced by photovoltaics so that it can be optimally redispatched throughout the day. The core of the system, developed by Le Clanchet, consists of an innovative lithium titanate battery. The storage system is coupled to the Romand Energie EPFL Solar Park and the EPFL Campus Smart Grid. It's composed by 9,000 small cells uh, realized by Le Clanchet and financed by the uh, Vaud Canton towards a specific project. Um, and this battery is conceived to compensate uh, the power and the energy which is produced by the photovoltaic panels connected to the south part of the campus. Uh, with this battery we can achieve the controllability of this region of the campus. We can disconnect it from the main grid uh, and provide uh, several functionalities to the external grid. Uh, in terms of uh, size of this uh, battery, we're talking about a system uh, with a rated power of uh, almost a megawatt, in particular 750 kilowatt, uh, and a rated energy of uh, 565 kilowatt hours. The opportunity that we have with this system is to validate at uh, the realistic scale, this is a system that has a one-one scale, the performances of control protocols that we develop uh, in uh, my laboratory, the DSL, in conjunction with the laboratory LCHU of Professor Geneva Le Boudec. Uh, normally in engineering, the majority of the verifications of the performances of a new control technique are realized uh, towards uh, simulations. Uh, what we have on our campus is that we will be able to validate at, with a system that has a, a realistic scale and this will make uh, uh, the, the validation of these protocols uh, extremely, let's say, um, accurate uh, because we will take into account uh, not just a model of a system but the real system itself and this makes this installation pretty unique worldwide. 